All right, this problem goes back to review from what we've done before. So in this case, we want to find the first and second derivative. Now, we've already seen the quotient rule, and this could be a complicated problem because you'd have to use quotient rule twice, and then once you do that, multiply it. So it might be a combination of product rule and quotient rules. Okay, that's going to make it way more complicated if you do that. What you should do is recognize that you should first simplify these problems before you jump into uh, using the rules. So I want to do that. I want to multiply across the top and across the bottom first and see if I can simplify this. It's possible I may not have to use any rule on this one. I may just use the power rule only. Let's do that. Across the top, across the bottom, we're first going to, so no, we're not doing any derivative yet. We're just doing some simplifying. Across the top, we're going to FOIL this. Okay, that's going to give you x to the fifth, and then plus 5x to the third, and then minus 2x squared, and then minus 10. So we're distributing that all the way across using FOIL. On the bottom, I have 5x to the fourth power because you're adding exponents together. Okay, so that, that's looking better. At least we've got rid of the two different fractions. Now you could go ahead and jump in and do the quotient rule at this point, but let's simplify it further. Since we only have one term on the bottom, we can take all the different terms on top and divide them all separately by 5x to the fourth. So I want to break this down even further, and we're going to do this. So I'm going to divide this first term by 5x to the fourth, and I'm going to do that to all of them. Okay, so I've divided every single term by 5x to the fourth. The next step I want to do is reduce all these. Okay, so I'll reduce all that down, and finally once we do that, we'll get into a form where we can do the derivative. For this one, I have a one-fifth, and it'll just be an x, top power minus the bottom power, using uh, rules of exponents we talked about earlier. This one, the fives are going to cancel out, and then this one, you're going to get uh, 3 minus 4 is going to give us a negative 1. It's always a top power minus the bottom one, as we reviewed earlier. And then this is 2 fifths. Okay, and then this is x to the 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And this last one, 10 divided by 5 is 2. I have the x to the 4th in the bottom. I want to make that a negative power. Now the reason why I'm making all these negative powers is because then I can apply the power rule to each of these now that it's in this form. Okay, so again, we've uh, we multiplied it out, divided each term by 5x to the fourth, got it all down to here. We're finally ready to do the derivative. So I'm going to come back up here, I'm going to erase this step here, so you have that already. I'm going to take the derivative. The derivative is going to be using the power rule. Okay, so I have 1 fifth, that's the derivative of the first term, the x goes away there. For this one, negative comes down, I have x to the negative 2, subtract 1 from the exponent. This one, negative, negative, multiply together to give you a plus, two-fifths, or a four-fifths actually, because you're multiplying the negative two times negative two-fifths. Subtract so one from here and you get negative three. This one, you're multiplying these, you get a plus eight, x to the negative fifth. So that right there would be your first derivative. Now, I'll clean that up later. I want to leave it in this form because I got to take the second derivative and I want to keep it in this format with the negative exponents, so that way I can take the second derivative. All right, so let's do that one now. The second derivative is going to be the derivative of 1 fifth is 0. This power comes down, you get positive 2x to the negative 3. This one you're multiplying negative 3 times the 4 fifths, that's negative 12 fifths, x to the negative 4. This one, negative 5, comes down, multiplies by negative 8, negative 40, x to the negative 6. So now we've done first and second derivative. We just have to clean up our answers and write them uh, in the way that the online homework systems usually will accept this without the negative exponents there. So for this one, I have 1 fifth, I have minus 1 over x squared, plus 4 over 5 x to the third, and then plus 8 over x to the fifth, that's your y primed. And then for as far as this one is concerned here, your y double primed, that's going to be 2 over x to the third, minus 12 over 5 x to the fourth power, minus 40 over 
x to the 6. So this would be the, the more friendly answers if you're ending them in online, then most likely they'll accept uh, these two. So that's your first and second derivatives.